In this video, I want to show you how you could create an Azure Static Web App using C Sharp and Blazor WebAssembly. I'm Frank Boucher, Microsoft Cloud Advocate, and today we are talking Azure Static Web App. You want to use a static web app in Azure, but JavaScript is not your strength. In fact, you would like to use C Sharp. Well, you could use Blazor WebAssembly. Blazor WebAssembly is just like JavaScript website, meaning it's on the client side, but it's in C Sharp. It's compile and go on client side. So you could have th that possibility to do that. I want to show you how to create and deploy a static web app using Blazor and deploying that to a static web. So first, we need to create this app. So let me detail. So .NET new, just like when you want to create a new app in .NET. I'm using here WASM for web assembly. Then I will specify the name, simple demo, and I want it to be in the subfolder app. It will be useful when you're building a static web app to have your application in one folder and an API if you want one in another subfolder because this GitHub repository will contain multiple projects. So execute this. I'll add a little git ignore, perfect. That will lower the file that we push. So that's excellent. I could run it locally, but let's deploy, let's push it to GitHub and deploy it right away. So I want to push that. So add app commit. Right now I'm using Visual Studio Code. You could use many different other tools or even just like doing to the terminal. Everything will be working also. And then I will push. Perfect. So now while this is pushing and syncing and everything, Let's go to the Azure portal because we want to create our static web app. So while this is pushing, let's go to the Azure portal to create our static web app. So we'll go here. This is the Azure portal. And what I want here is create a new resource. We'll click that blue button. Obviously, I could also do it by the command, the CLI, but I thought showing it in the portal will be more interesting. So just like before, we'll be looking for the static web app. We'll create a new resource group, a new name. We'll still use the free tier, that's perfect for us. You deploy to a location that makes sense for you. And now we'll sync just like before with GitHub so I will give access to my GitHub. That's important because it will create the token inside the sec sec secret section and I will be able to deploy. So now I will go with my organization, my repository here. So simple, whoop. simple demo was also the name of my repository and the branch will be main. And here, that's where it changed compared to earlier. So now you have all those JavaScript framework, but you also have Blazor just here. So that's what you want to use. Now it's asking you, where is your app location? I didn't call it client, I called it app. And be careful because it's case sensitive. And API, I don't need it, so I could put everything empty, but I will add one in the future, so I will put it there. And WW root, that's the default where the artifact, the compiled version will be, or WebAssembly that will be pushing. So WW root should be the good location. So now we could review and create, and really create. And now it's exactly the same thing that is happening when you are deploying in JavaScript. It will create a workflow on the GitHub side and it will compile and deploy. So we just need to wait and then we'll see the result.
There it is, GitHub Action or Workflow is finished. So now the app is deployed in Azure. So in Azure, we have that, everything is there. I have my URL just here in the top right corner. I'll reopen it for you. And I open the network so we could see that the resources are coming from the Azure, but when it's loaded inside my browser, nothing go back to the server side. So if I refresh the page, we'll see here all the activity. And now if I clear that, so now everything is in my browser. So even if I switch tab and I interact clicking and fetching data and stuff like that, the fetching data happened once, but that's because I'm getting data from somewhere else. So right now, everything is local to my browser. So there you have it, a static web assembly in .NET inside as Azure Static website.